Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on YNW Melly, the new evidence they're trying to put into the second trial, and how my name was brought up again. As many of you already know, the YNW Melly trial is scheduled for round two in March of 2024. The first trial was such a shit show, it not only ended in a mistrial, but Christine Bradley, the prosecutor who wanted to convict Melly oh so badly, was kicked off the case by the judge. Turns out, she was withholding information. Apparently a lead detective in the case asked the deputy to lie, and she preferred to keep that little bit of information to herself instead of sharing it with the defense most high profile double murder case in hip hop and she completely fucked it up. But the state of Florida isn't done. With Christine gone, Broward County quickly found a new contender, Alexandra Buckaloo. No stranger to high profile cases, this would be the same prosecutor who successfully convicted the killers of Florida rapper XXXTentacion with three of them receiving life sentences while the fourth snitched his way home. Miss Alexandra would waste no time and is coming out swinging as new paperwork just dropped in which she plans to introduce 55 songs, 14 YouTube videos, 18 lyrics, and two possible snitches. Melly's lawyer would strike back, literally attempting to strike everything Miss Buckaloo was attempting to use. They say along with listing the additional witnesses, the state seeks to introduce YouTube videos not only of the defendant, but of a blogger named 1090 Jake that has no connection to this matter other than the fact that not so undercover detective Danny Polo is a crazed fan of his and cannot seem to keep his name out of his mouth. In fact, the defense would not even know of 1090 Jake if it was not for Danny Polo name dropping him any chance he gets. Now if anyone forgot, Danny Polo was the undercover gang expert testifying in Melly's trial with a mask on because he has an alleged hit on his head, but come to find out his wife and family were sharing his pictures across social media. Paying attention to his expert analysis on gangs, it would seem every damn thing he knows about them comes less from experience and more from watching YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, some of the videos included as evidence is the video I did on the Island Boys claiming to be Bloods and my Vlad TV interview on becoming a white blood. Now the Island Boys, this doesn't need much time and can be summed up quickly. They went from claiming a gang to doing OnlyFans with each other. End of story. As far as my Vlad TV interview, I think Polo is still a little salty from the video I did on him after he was exposed live at trial via law and crime. Melly's lawyers would continue on by saying the most troubling thing of all is the state is now seeking to introduce Melly's lyrics, videos, and album covers, despite previously assuring Melly's lawyers they wouldn't be used. In the previous trial, a TikTok video of Melly rapping was used against him, and Danny Polo would even testify to the lyrics of the song before Melly's lawyers pointed out he was rapping a song by Kevin Gates, and the fucking prosecutors thought it was a confession. Melly's lawyers would further shit on Danny Polo by stating a gang expert is not an expert on rap lyrics. Although the state of Florida will probably use self-professed Kodak Black groupie Danny Polo as the music expert, who also happens to be the gang expert, the defense is not obligated to do the same. Now Miss Buckaloo was bringing her favorite snitch over from the XXX trial. 27 year old Robert Allen, who testified against his three co-defendants in the murder robbery that stole one of Florida's most beloved rappers, has been added to the witness list against Melly. Robert was sentenced to seven years in prison, four of which he received credit for his time in jail, leaving him to serve the remainder in Florida State Prison, followed by 20 years on probation. In exchange, he helped get his three friends life sentences. It's alleged that Cleveland Brown Jr. at some point was with Melly inside of the Broward County Jail, and it may be this interaction he'll be testifying to. Or, he'll testify to the music and rumors of what he knows about the rapper. At this point, nobody really knows what the fuck he's doing in Melly's case, but he's in it, and Miss Buckaloo will most likely use him for the next 20 years while he's on the leash that is probation. 
Both Robert and another man named Victor Lepo gave audio recorded statements to Detective Polo. Victor, a 31-year-old Hispanic male from Pompano Beach, has an open case for breaking into his mom's house and another for Grand Theft Auto. The state is attempting to label him a career criminal as he's already been to prison twice and has had multiple arrests since he was 19. Of Mexican descent, Victor would have a chola girl tattooed on his face and an Aztec pyramid on his chest, so it's hard to imagine what the fuck he has to do with the Melly case, but for whatever reason, Detective Polo thinks he's valuable. Security threat group reports for four different men, one of which is Victor, would also be introduced as evidence, making me think all four of these men were inmates within the Brown County Jail and had some type of interaction with Melly, since the only thing in common they have with him is being in the same jail. This goes to show it could be the guy in the cell next door, the guy handing you food trays, or the guy watching you from across the dorm that's desperate to find a way out of his case and quick to jump on yours. Now Melly's team has waived his right to a speedy trial and his second trial has been pushed back to March 5th. From now until then, no one can predict what other crazy twists this case will take. Now while I'm not too happy to be brought up again for no fucking reason in this trial, I do love and appreciate the fact that the lawyers stood up for me. You know what I'm saying? They called Danny Polo a crazed fan that can't keep my name out of his fucking mouth and drops my name any chance that he gets. And I don't have a goddamn fucking thing to do with this trial. And that seems to be the repetitive thing about this trial. Damn near everything they're bringing into this, nobody has nothing to do with. You getting a random ass kid from Pompano that broke in to his mother's house? Like, what are you trying to ask him about? Do you know who Melly is? Do you know who Jake is? The fuck does that have to do with anything? And then they're bringing all these videos. One of the videos is um like seven rappers who got pressed. And the title got changed on YouTube. It's seven rappers who got checked by goons. And it's just showing rappers being checked in public. I think it had NBA Youngboy, fucking Quando Rondo. So it's like, what is he trying to prove? Is he trying to be like, oh, how come Melly never got checked in public? How come nobody made a video on Melly being a fake gang member? How come, like, I don't know what he's looking for, but I'm pretty sure everybody's already said similar things. It's just weird the approach that he's trying to take comparing Melly to the island boys who are openly kissing each other and their twin brothers shit's a little crazy and the fact that they got the top snitch from the x case it's just i don't know i feel like this trial is gonna be just as much of a shit show this lady from the other trial literally brought her favorite snitch over like eh, come help me with this one too as if he's gonna be able to be like, oh yeah, me and Melly went to fucking middle school together. I saw him kill three people, I just never told anybody. Like, I don't know what the fuck the value of that is gonna be, but we'll have to wait and see. And this trial has failed to disappoint when it comes to content because of the amount of crazy shit that's going on. Let me know y'all's thoughts and comments in the comments section. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. Till next time.